This video is part of a series that we are doing today to highlight some of the Project Care cases and women who went missing in or near Edmonton, Alberta, whose cases may very well be related. Now, Thomas George Svekla was acquitted of the murder of Rachel Quinney. The acquittal means that Rachel's case is still unsolved and it is possible that someone else was responsible for her death or someone other than Svekla has further answers as to what happened to her. She was a mom of two who, like many of the women in today's videos, was at high risk and very vulnerable. Her mother loved her. Her family loved her and very much misses her presence in their lives. Before she disappeared, she had plans to return to school. She was 19 when she went missing and her remains were discovered on June 11th, 2004 by a man walking through a grove of trees south of Sherwood Park on the southwest corner of Township Road 540 and Range Road 224. She had been severely beaten and unfortunately mutilated post-mortem. And like the other women in today's videos, Rachel had family and friends who love her, who miss her, and who deserve answers to their questions about what happened to her. Please reach out if you have any information at all, if you can help piece this puzzle together. Specla is just one possibility in the deaths of each of these women. Police are not ruling out that someone else might have been involved, which is appropriate. As they have made clear, there are a number of suspects, a number of persons of interest. Coming forward with information can help them solve these cases. RCMP also released part of a profile of a suspected serial killer who may have been responsible for some or all of these tragic deaths. The man drives a reliable high mileage truck, van or SUV. He's comfortable driving in rural areas. He likes to hunt, fish, camp, or participate in other outdoor activities. He has a past or present con connection to the area south of Edmonton, including Leduc, Camrose, and New uh, Sarepta. He may clean his vehicle at odd times of the day. This person is suspected in the deaths of Dolores, Debbie, Monique, Ed Edna, Bernadette, Melissa, Katie, and Rachel, all of whom were discussed in earlier videos today along with Ellie Mae Meyer, Charlene Gauld, Samantha Taylene Berg, Kelly Don Riley, Kara King, Jessica Cardinal, Joyce Hewitt, and Joanne Ghostkeeper. He may also be related to the death of Amber Tuckero, who we covered in an earlier video. That video contains a recording of the man suspected to have abducted and killed Amber. In our next video, we will have some proof that a number of people may be responsible for one or more of the deaths of the women we are talking about today. And that should help you to keep in mind that just because there was a suspect or uh, police talk about one suspect, there might not be a completely different one out there who's responsible. So always keep your mind open. Thank you for listening.